right, guys, I got another one. And I think you know what this box means. This is going to be a an Ingersoll. But don't hate me because you know that when you watch my videos, eventually you're going to get an Ingersoll. But I assume you're watching this one because you purposely wanted to search for this one. I don't know what it is yet. I got a bunch. Uh, I'll Maybe I'll send a picture. I got about eight watches sitting around that I that I haven't to that I haven't opened yet. So we'll see. And again, sorry for the shaky, shaky camera. I lost my workshop when I moved. I haven't built a new one yet. So I'm using my daughter's Lego table, who she is currently making uh, the Harry Potter castle. Must be nice. All right. I mean, I love these boxes, you know. I have to say, Ingersoll makes the best boxes. You really feel like you're getting something. I hope this is the, the double open heart. There we go. True original. Yeah, love that. It's been a while since I've opened one of these. It feels smaller. Oh. Ooh, look at that. Oh, so nice. God, I love these watches. I don't know what the one this is yet. It's probably got some name. Let's see. The Armstrong. Man, I got a bunch of Armstrongs. Okay, well, this is an Armstrong with an open with an open heart. Let's see. The Armstrong. Fantastic. All right, watch this video. All right, all right. So first, before I get into the watch, I'm just gonna go over some of the things. Ingersoll really has done a fantastic job. It's an old company. They used to be known as the Waterbury Watch Company, originally a US-based company. Um, if you saw the commercial, you the little video I played, you, you would know that. Um, they are now owned by uh, Hong Kong. It's a Hong Kong company. They were again at one point British uh, after the Waterbury water, whatever. Ingersoll, it was American. 
and then they became British. Uh, and now they're Hong Kong, but they still have headquarters in, in, uh, in, in Great Britain. But um, fantastic watch. Uh, I love them. Presentation, spot on. I mean, this is solid wood. This isn't some plastic piece of crap. This is, sorry, um, this, is, this is actual wood. Um, you know, you can get like, I don't know why you'd want this, but you get a pewter uh, authenticity card. Um, you could really knock somebody out with this. This thing weighs, you know what? I've never done it before. I'm gonna weigh this because I want you guys to see how the absurdity of this um, this authentication card. It's 50, 54 grams. Just wanted you guys to know that. So, okay. So we got that stuff out of the way. I'll actually start talking about the watch. Oh, lifetime warranty on all watches purchased as of, I think it's 2017. Now, um, I'm just gonna get right into the movement because that's the first thing you see. Now, a lot of people uh, say, oh, that's just a, um, what is it? I can't even remember. People would say that's just a simple Japanese movement. Um, and you know what? It's it's actually it's it's actually a seagull movement. Um, I'm gonna put it there. I don't know which one it is, but I'm gonna put it at the bottom after I've opened it up because I do. I open up every single one of these. Um, but it it is a seagull movement, but it's not just an off the shelf seagull movement. Uh, I don't know that that makes it any different. Seagull has some good movements. I mean, it's not a Swiss movement. Um, you know, it's not a Rolex, right? But these are good, solid, solid quality watches. I mean, the presentation and the quality of these Ingersolls, you really have to just feel it to understand. I've been so impressed with them. Like, where, where's my other one? This this is basically my favorite watch. I wear it all the time. It is uh, the Scavel. Um, it, you know, I've got a nylon strap on it. I wear it all the time, doing everything. Mowing the lawn, going to the boardroom whatever it is. Uh, this one is fantastic. Um, so what I was saying, it is a seagull movement, but Ingersoll takes the movements and they, uh, they assemble them in house and they do a lot of unique things to them. Uh, and it's not just the, the, sh the, the weight, right. That they modify. Um, sometimes they, they anodize the metal, sometimes the machine turn it, but they tune, they fine tune all the parts in their own shop. Um, again, it's still a seagull movement, but it is a quality movement. It, it's not uh, It's not just, you know, your $20 watch off eBay that comes from China. Um, this is this is done, done well. Uh, okay, so first off, it is 5 ATM. I think that is just, <clears throat> it could probably do more, but quite honestly, look, it's got a leather strap. And this isn't really a watch that you'd wear for swimming, but that's 50 meters, half a football field. You could take the swimming every day if you wanted to in a pool and you would be just fine. A little weird, what have you. Um, fantastic action. God, I love this. Look, you can even see everything moving around, um, all the gears. It's just fantastic. You can even see the key. I love this. This is a fantastic skeleton watch. I really like it. It is it is really fantastic. <clears throat> um, yeah, this is great with a display back. Uh, 316 stainless steel as always. And the, the crystals, they are sapphire coated. So what that means is it's just like the Vengers. It's three layers and uh, they superheat sapphire and coat a hardened mineral mineral crystal. So it doesn't have the impact protection, but it does have the scratch same scratch resistance. But if I was to like bang this up against concrete, um, it would probably crack, <clears throat> but it wouldn't be scratched. <laughs> so um, this leather, leather strap, right? It's got the Ingersoll logo. You get, uh, you know, normally Ingersoll also puts an eye down there, but I'm not seeing it. Um, got the name there. You get it on the buckle, uh, on the back, of course. But uh, this is not their best leather. They've got they've got some watches that have the Horween watch strap. Um, this one originally came with a Horween watch strap, but I think it just looks so much nicer with the nylon, so it just sits in a box. The, the original watch strap. But uh, yeah, fantastic. All right, let's do some 
Let's see the weight. I don't even think this thing has a name on it, but. All right. Okay, 100.5 grams, we'll just say 100 grams. So it's not bad. Uh, of course, it's got a leather strap. Um, oh yeah, you know what, I forgot. I paid about 80, 79, $80 for this. If I can find the original auction, I'll put it up at the top right there. Um, this watch probably MSRP for $7.95. Most of these watches MSRP for that, but generally they sell for $3.95. Now, I don't want to give away my secret. I will after I've bought all his watches, but the guy who I bought this watch from, I buy all my Ingersolls from him, pretty much all of them. The guy's fantastic. <clears throat> He's from Florida. I just gave the secret away. He's in Miami. I gave another secret away, uh, but uh, I love it. I still have a few more to buy, and then I'll let you guys know, and you can buy all the rest of his watches. But he is fantastic. All right, let's do some measurements. The case, I'm going to say, what, 43? 46, not bad. All right. Let's see what the lug width is. 22, maybe? Yep, 22. The depth is, we'll say 14. Yeah, 14. All right, and the lug to lug is fifty. I'm gonna say fifty. It's about right, about fifty. So it is a good size watch. I'm gonna. I don't know if I can put it on so you can show you. I have a seven and a half inch wrist. And uh, this is a good size for me. sits nice i don't know if i necessarily like this watch strap but you're really gonna have to break it in but the watch does sit well on my wrist um i have large hands but seven and a half inch wrist it's nice i like it very nice watch damn it another one i'm gonna have to keep i don't think there's any loom at all to this watch i'm not even seeing it so but i'll, I'll turn the light off just to be sure <laughs> yeah there's there's nothing oh look at that that is badass do you guys see that? How the jewels light up all red and evil? Okay, well, there's some entertainment. <laughs> there's no loom at all. So, there you go. All right, if you like this video, please give it a like. Uh, if you want to see more, you know how. Hit subscribe. And uh, if you have any comments, tell me what you think about Ingersoll. Uh, leave it at the bottom. Thank you.